everybody, what is up? And welcome back to the channel. And holy cow, am I getting ready to go on a rant. So if you're woke, you get your feelings hurt easy, and you need to have safe spaces, I suggest you click off this video and leave now because you are not going to like what I have to say. Now, with that being said, we're going to talk about these punk bands that are canceling their shows across the country and canceling big venues like Welcome to Rockview down in Florida and stuff over certain sponsorships like the U.S. Army and some other company that I don't even know who they are, but supposedly they um, support Israel or do some business with Israel or whatever it is and stuff. And the irony of it is, is, is these guys are supporting like communism and other stuff and the same thing. Um, the two bands that were mentioned in the thing that I was watching on Rockfeed was the band Scow and the band Zulu. Both of them are like free Palestine. They want to support terrorism. They're all about supporting terrorism. And they don't want to support the U.S. military, but they're Americans that live in a country under the blanket of freedom that the U.S. military and the U.S. Army actually provide them so they can go out and play their music at all these big venues. And they're a big sponsor for a lot of these big venues that actually help these venues be able to put on so they can actually go play and make a living. And they're the ones that are literally providing that for them. And these people are actually anti that for some reason. I don't understand. They're a bunch of confused fucking idiots. But... Before I get on my thing and say the few things I want to say about these dumbasses because they don't know shit about the Middle East and they don't know shit about Palestine. And I'll tell you why I know that because I've actually been to the Middle East because I'm a 100% disabled combat veteran that served this country for a very long time. And here's some pictures of me serving in Iraq. So I have firsthand experience of being over there and can tell you how horrible it really can be. But I'm not going to get onto that because that's a video for another day as well. But what I am going to do, I'm going to let Ronnie Radke, um, he's been on a really good tirade lately, talk about this stuff. I'm going to show you guys this clip where he 100% nails it, 100% agree with him. And I'm going to play this clip for you guys. We're going to let Ronnie say it best because he goes off on it. And then I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to leave you with a quote from Alice Cooper himself. So here's Ronnie Radke hitting the nail on the head. Hey, what's up? Remember that video I made about how I'm leaving the scene because a bunch of you guys, you bands are incels and everybody kind of sucks in metalcore and like hardcore and all that stuff and all the pronouns for Palestine and stuff? Yeah, well, this just reassures me. I want to show you guys why. Free Palestine. We will not be playing Download Fest this year due to Barclays Bank sponsorship sponsorship remember remember i said sponsorship of the event at barclays connection to israel and the genocide of israel blah 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 blah. right damn dude you guys are so punk and like r real people right yeah real people meanwhile you're doing taco bell commercials for the super bowl this is why i hate your scene because you're a bunch of fucking posers dude fuck you dude fuck you you're not real you're fucking posers you fucking Oh my god, you bootlicking shields, dude. Here's another one. Speed, we will no longer be playing Download Festival Friday, June 14th due to the recent news of Barclays sponsorship. Cool, man, but check out these, uh, these Nikes that I, that I, that I, uh, yeah, uh, oh my god, dude. Communism, man, uh, punk rock, communism, but here, let me sell you guys some Nikes that we collab with, and let's do Taco Bell's commercials, man. You guys are all loser posers, and you're not real punk. All right, there you guys go. That's Ronnie Radke in his own words, and I freaking am really coming to love this guy. Even though I made a video um, saying that I didn't agree with them canceling that show when they lost the laptops, I'm really starting to like this guy. I am really starting to like this guy. I got to tell you, shout out to Ronnie. If you ever see this video, man, you know, even though I disagree about the laptop thing, I think you are spot on with a lot of stuff you've been saying lately. So just keep speaking out because that's what the world needs. They need somebody to be outspoken. You know, and I even if I disagree with you on other things, I can definitely agree with you on other things. And you 100% going on. So more shout out to him. But now this is my thoughts on it. And I'm going to explain this to you. These bands are young and stupid. And they have, they're, not, they're not being musicians anymore. They're being political pawns, being manipulated by the government and everybody else. There was a time where punk and rock was anti-establishment, 100% anti-establishment, man. And they were against any kind of rules, any kind of rules. Punk was like the outlaw music, man. They even went out, you know, punk went outside of rock because they didn't want to conform to that crazy crap either. And now they are part of the establishment. I mean, Offspring, the band Offspring, that in my day when they were coming up, they were a great punk band. And they fired their drummer of 17 years during COVID. And this band literally medically could not get the stupid COVID shot. Like talk to his doctors. They said it would be risky because he has other health issues. And so they told him not to get it. And so they fired him. This is a guy that worked with them for 17 years and thought he had a good relationship. And they're so woke that they, instead of working around it and figuring it out, they just fired him. 
You know, what kind of douchebag does that to a guy that's been playing with for 17 years? Oh, I know. The offspring does it. So, you guys in the offspring, you guys suck. And I wish you guys would just go away because you don't deserve to be out there playing anymore. Nobody should be following you anymore. You fired a guy that was a good man that was going on the advice of his doctors. And we know that the whole COVID thing, bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You're sitting there listening to Dr. Fauci lying his ass off and admitting that he made all this shit up, made the six feet rule and everything. If you guys were paying any lick of attention and watching some of this stuff, you would know that it was all a lie. One big fat lie. And then you got these new punk bands like Scowl and Zulu coming out saying, oh, the U.S. Army is a sponsor, so we won't play that game, or so-and-so is a sponsor. Let me tell you something to you little peon bands from California that are so liberal and so woke that you don't understand how the world works. It's the U.S. Army and the rest of the U.S. military that provides the freedom for you to actually be able to be a musician and go out and play these venues in the first place because you wouldn't have those freedoms and those capabilities if it wasn't for the U.S. military protecting our interest and keeping our freedom free and keeping this country free so you could even go do that, let alone the fact that you don't know dick about the Middle East. I served in the Middle East. I served as a combat soldier in Iraq, and I can tell you right now, the Middle East is a very complicated place. And let me tell you what, sweetheart, the female or whatever that's freaking in the scow band and stuff, you're a white American woman. How long do you think you would last in Gaza? I'll tell you how long you last. You're going to be a sex slave and be abused until they rape you until you die, or they're just going to take you up on a building, put you on CNN and chop your head off and then toss you off the rooftop. That's what they're going to do with you. <clears throat> You have no clues to what you're talking about. You have no clues to who you're supporting. And let me explain something else to you. There is no Palestine. There's Gaza. Palestine doesn't exist. Does not exist. Crack a freaking history book, would you guys? I mean, Jesus, Pete, get the shit out of your ears and actually do some research and understand what's really going on because you have no freaking clue that's what's going on in the Middle East, as most don't because they've never been there. You know, I can speak from somebody that's actually been to the Middle East. <coughs> Excuse me. And I can tell you right now, it is a very twisted place. And I'm not saying there's not some good people there, but there's a lot of bad people there. And when you got terrorist groups that are running countries and running places like Gaza, and you got the Palestinian people that are complicit in that because they literally had Palestinian civilians that were keeping hostages that just got saved not too long ago. And where your, where's your outrage for all the people that were kidnapped or all the people that were murdered? You know, on October, it was October 7th, you know, when they went in and killed all those people and they're still holding hostages. Where's your sympathy for them and their families? I don't hear you crying out, hey, give back the hostages because you know what? You want to stop Israel from attacking them? How about you give out, give back the people they took, including Americans that are still held hostage? I don't hear you crying and whining about that, you bunch of pansy ass bitches. I swear, it just kills me that this generation doesn't realize the sacrifices that were made to provide the freedom so you guys can go out and do the things that you love to do and not be restrained. Go spend some time in some third world countries. See how well you like it. Go spend some time in the Middle East. Hell, I saw that Glenn Beck was offering free first class plane tickets for any of you freaking pansy asses that want to support this shit to go to Gaza and go ahead and help free Palestine like you keep saying, which would still be Gaza because there is no Palestine, you know, bunch of fucking idiots. I swear, a bunch of fucking idiots, you know, I feel sorry. I'm glad I'm an older guy because I ain't going to be here too, too much longer, you know, and stuff. And then when I'm gone and my generation has gone, you guys are totally fucked because if you guys keep going down this path, America is not going to be America. It's going to be something else. I don't know what, but it sure is only going to be American anymore. If you don't pull your heads out your ass and start making some changes, the next generation is screwed. And I mean screwed. And you guys can get pissed at me and put stupid comments down all you want to. I could give a rat's ass because you guys are the ones that are going to pay the price in the end when it's all over and done with. You know, I'll be lucky. I, I might got 40, 40, 40 more years, maybe 50. I'd like to live to 125, but... Hopefully, I'll at least make it to 100. So I might have, you know, 50 more years here, and then I'm done. But what are you guys going to do? You know, well, that's hopeful, I guess. But point being is, is that you guys better get your heads out your ass. And I don't know what's going on in the music industry, but I've never seen so many woke freaking idiots that are starting to be musicians now. Nobody wants to hear your political bullshit on stage. People go to concerts to escape all this crap. They want to escape it. They want to hear good music that makes them feel good, that makes them feel emotion. They don't want to hear your political bullshit or who you're voting for, whatever side you're choosing. They don't fucking care. 
They just want to hear good music. They want to support you. And when you guys do this stupid shit, you alienate half the people that actually follow you by doing this dumb ass shit. It is so stupid. I don't get it. But anyway, that's my rant. I had to rant about it. I think it's ridiculous. I can tell you what. I hope these bands that are doing this stuff and promoting this stuff, and I'm even going to put up the quote, um, the quote from Scow that said they weren't going to play, um, because the U.S. Army was uh, the U.S. Army was sponsoring it. Here's a quote up here somewhere. I'll put that quote up here so you guys can see that too. And hopefully, I threw it in earlier when they were saying that shit too. You know, for them dumbasses. But it's the stupidest thing in the world, you know. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You guys literally shit on the people that are literally pro providing the freedom for you to actually go play this stuff. And then you're pissed off about other people that are sponsors that are really sponsoring these events so you can ha go have a career. Like, these are the people that sponsor the venues so you can actually go have a career and get paid. And now you're out here making political statements. I mean, you're a bunch of fucking idiots is what you are. I mean, you're a bunch of fucking idiots. I mean, that's all I can say. But I'm going to leave you with a quote from Alice Cooper. Love Alice Cooper. Here's Alice Cooper's quote. This was on Facebook. I'm going to put it up here for you guys. Here's the quote. When musicians tell people who to vote for, I think it is an abuse of power. Ugh, I can't read. Let's read that again. When musicians tell people who to vote for, I think it is an abuse of power. They are inviting their fans not to think independently, but to follow their thinking. Rock and roll represents freedom, and this is not freedom. And he is 100% right. And with that, I'm going to say see you guys later and see you on the next one.